Hello and welcome to Military May Day. We're pointing out a few pieces on the chessboard. They have got a couple of stories for you. One of them is going to be about a concept vehicle, uh, something that's probably needed and is probably going to be manufactured. And uh, the other one is about uh, drones. Let's get into it here. U.S. Army unveils concept of new combat vehicle. Now, this is just a concept. It's not designed yet, so it looks like it's going to be coming soon. The U.S. Army has released a concept image of its next-generation mechanized infantry combat vehicle slated to replace the aging M2 Bradley. Yeah, that was, what, 81? Designated as the XM-30 Mechanized Infantry Combat Vehicle, this innovative track platform is envisioned as a comprehensive upgrade addressing the technological limitations of its predecessor. The M-2 Bradley, which entered service in 1981, has served as a stalwart infantry fighting vehicle, transporting troops across battlefields and providing vital support to dismounted forces. However, with the advancements of warfare technology, the need for more technological advanced and versatile replacement has become imperative. The XM-30 is designed as a tracked vehicle with a focus on reconnaissance offering enhanced protection, transportation capabilities, and small arms firepower for squad elements. While the detailed design is yet to be finalized, key features have been outlined for potential vendors to include in their prototypes. These include space for two operators, a capacity for six additional personnel, a 50mm cannon, a remote turret, and anti-tank guided, missile, guided missiles. When do we get one of these things? I'd like to have that sitting in my driveway. The weaponry on the XM-30 is set to incorporate cutting-edge sensors and fire controls. Let me just fact sheet about the aging M2 Bradley. The released concept image, although intentionally impartial, regarding specific contractors offers a glimpse into the futuristic, well-protected protected, and formidable chassis that is likely to influence the design of the XM-30. Currently, the project is undergoing rigorous evaluation and competition with General Dynamics land systems and a consortium led by American Rhine metal vehicles vying for the contract. In the close fight, the XM-30 will enable the ability for, of squads to maneuver by detecting and destroying targets at a range beyond the enemy's capability, stated the Office of the Assistant Secretary of the Army Acquisition, Logistics, and Technologi Technology alongside and released uh, the image. I guess that's it for this. Right, I thought there's more to it. There we go. That's that's the concept. Now again, there's they've got competition, but uh, I mean that's kind of an impressive looking machine to be honest with you. Again, you know, I could have something like that sitting in the driveway. Just if I had that much money, I'd probably move to another country. But anyway, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> U.S. Army seeks new cheap uncrewed aircraft system. Uh huh. In other words, a really expensive, tiny drone. The U.S. Army has issued a source-sought notice for a new, low-cost, unmanned aircraft system that can support training and operations. Published on November 9th, the notice stated that the new drone could be non-developmental or commercial. According to the service, interested vendors should submit information about a system that costs less than 3000 and has a day-night visual capability. It must also be capable of flying for over 30 minutes and covering a range of up to 5 kilometers. Additionally, vendors are required to include uh, ancillary equipment such as command and control solutions, batteries, cabling, spare parts, and an operator maintenance and manual in their submissions. Additional requirements, participating companies have until November 22 to submit their white paper responses, including a detailed description of the UAS and its sensors performer performance. 
technical specifications for data link and radios, data equipment, available flight modes, and any additional functions that support reconnaissance, surveillance, and target acquisitions must also be provided. Now, all this in a nice little tiny package, huh? Once submissions are assessed, the Army will select vendors who offer are most likely to pass future comp competitions. Firms may also be invited to demonstrate their proposed capability. The U.S. Army clarified the source sought notice will be for planning purposes only and will not constitute a request for proposal. So, looks like they're looking to catch up with uh, Russia and uh, Ukraine using the drones for kamikaze attacks. That's, I'm betting that's what that's what a lot of it is. I mean, three grand. I mean, that's nothing to the U.S. military. That That is the type of money you spend if you just want to bomb something and use a kamikaze drone to do it, in my opinion. I think that's what they're going to do. Um, anyway, that's a couple of stories I've seen so far that I kind of found interesting. I'm going to try to put a couple more out today. But uh, if you like the content, hit that like button, smash it up. And uh, subscribe to Lou.